Pope Benedict XVI's funeral will be a unique event in the history of the Catholic Church. While there have been papal resignations in the past, the novelty of Benedict's resignation was the way he lived as a Pope Emeritus, still wearing the papal white and living in the Vatican. In the years before retired Pope Benedict died, Catholic News Service asked successive directors of the Vatican press office what plans were in place for his eventual funeral rites. The most complete answer given was, quote, more than for a cardinal, less than for a pope in office, end quote. Here are some of the ways we know the rites and practices for his death are similar to and different from those for a pope who dies in office. Pope Benedict's body was dressed in a red chasuble as it laid first in the chapel of his residence and then in St. Peter's Basilica for the faithful to pay their respects. The red, a liturgical color symbolizing a willingness to shed one's blood for the faith, is the color popes traditionally are buried in. Cardinals usually are buried in a white chasuble. But unlike the protocol for a pope who died in office, Pope Benedict's body did not have his pallium, a woolen stole worn around the shoulders, or the pastoral staff. The fisherman's ring that he wore as pope had been destroyed a few days after his resignation in 2013. Jesuit father Federico Lombardi, Vatican spokesman at the time, had told reporters that the destruction had been completed. Although he explained that the ring is not smashed or destroyed completely, rather two deep cuts are made in its face so that it can no longer be used as a seal. Although many cardinals have said they will come to Rome for the late Pope's funeral and all have been invited to concelebrate the Mass, they were not convoked to do so, unlike what would have happened if Pope Benedict had still been in office. In addition, fewer official government delegations are expected. But like Popes before him, he will be buried in the Grotto of St. Peter's Basilica. The Vatican confirmed his tomb would be in the same small chapel where St. John Paul II's tomb was until 2011, and where St. John XXIII's tomb was until 2001. Santa Maria